Hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you a quick daily makeup routine that I use on myself. For me, skincare is really important. So I want to make sure that I cleanse and prep it. Um, as I don't wear a lot of makeup throughout the day, I use very basic and natural um, glowy kind of look. So I'm gonna be just showing you these simple steps and um, what I use. So to start off with, I'm gonna be using the Pixi Milky Tonic uh, Toner. So I'm gonna cleanse everything off from my face. all the excess oils. Okay, so when we prepped our face and we cleansed everything, the next step what I'm gonna be uh, doing is applying eye cream. For me, eye cream is really important, especially if you hadn't had a lot of sleep. Um, eye cream usually gives a lot of hydration for for example, if you have eye bags and very tired eyes, um, it's really, really great product. And I think everyone should be using daily. There is a night eye cream and a day night cream. The one that I'm gonna be using is going to be the Estee Lauder. I find that it works really great for me. It's, it's also a cooling antioxidant. So it does give you all the good stuff for underneath your eyes um, and around this area here. So to make sure that the cream is circulating um, in your skin properly, I use the ring finger and I just dab it lightly like this. This finger is known for having the least pressure. So I find that it's really soothing. It brightens up your eye. It really does work for me okay so after your eye cream is applied and the next thing I'm gonna be using is one of my favorite products is by Beauty Bio it's the Beauty Bio oil and um, it looks like this so it has also again super amazing ingredients inside for this um, I wouldn't advise to apply if you have very oily skin um, because obviously it's kind of a part of an oil, so it will create more oil. So I wouldn't advise to use it. If you have dry skin to medium, it's a great product. So what I do is just apply a few pumps in the back of my hand, and I evenly apply all over my face. And then I'm going to be massaging it in. So when you have massaged your um, daily kind of moisturizer or oil, whatever you use, now I'm going to be applying um, a subtle amount of moisture, uh, tinted moisturizer. Throughout the day, I don't actually use foundation, especially in summertime. I try to use as much as SPF as possible. So I'm going to be using the Trini London, the um, BFF Cream Skin Perfector. So what I find with this, it works really great for me, is correct all the kind of skin pigments and the redness, and it just kind of gives a nice, subtle, natural glow. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but it has SPF 30 as well. So it's great for summertime. So I'm just applying a little amount on the back of my hand. And again, I'm evening it out. I don't apply too much because I find it like obviously less is more. I always say this. So if obviously if you need more, you take and apply more. So it looks like cream, but then it changes into kind of like a tinted moisturizing so it's super great make sure you do even it out and blend it properly you can use a hand or a brush or whatever you prefer i wouldn't use a sponge for this because it is a moisturizer so you want to keep it within your skin i find it with hand it blends better for me Yeah, like do make sure you blend it evenly. It's because um, when it starts working, if you can see it already, the glow, 
like you need to blend it because it does have the tint in it and you don't want to have patches or lines on your face so make sure you really really blend it in your hairline and your jawline as well and your neck Okay, so when you finished, you do need to wash your hands. If you don't wash your hands, you're going to be putting all the tint um, on other products and you want to make sure that everything is clean and tidy and within hygiene as well. So I'm going to be going and washing my hands then. So I'm back, I washed my hands. Um, so for the next step, I'm going to be using a little bit of the blush just to give a little bit of a color in my cheeks. For this one, I'm going to be using the Kiko. Um, it's just basically a radiant baking blush. Looks like this. It's a little beautiful palette. I think I got it two and a half years ago. I never really used it. Anyway, so I'm just applying lightly on my top of the cheek. As you can see, it's already giving a nice, natural kind of pink summer blush look. I'm not going to apply too much. Make sure you apply within your where your cheek is. So the best way how to apply it is when you smile a little bit like this and you can really see where your cheek is. So you kind of apply not too low and also like not too high but kind of in the middle in between okay so i'm applying a little bit on my forehead as well just to create a contrast and here as well okay so for the next step i'm going to actually be using a little bit of the powder to set the areas where I know it will sweat and it will crease a little bit so it's going to be around the nose area here and a little bit a little bit around the eye area here. Powder that I'm going to be using is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. Sorry, Flawless Finish. Now, I'm going to be taking a little, I'm going to take in a fluffy brush, I take a little bit of the product and I dab off the all the excess because we don't need too much. So I'm just applying a little bit under the eye and a narrow nose area as well and my eyelid a little bit as well why I apply um, powder on my eyelid is because when I use mascara what happens is that sometimes the mascara can go on top of the eyelid here and it creates like black marks so if you apply powder or setting powder it won't do that like it won't stick okay so the makeup is set in only areas where I want it for the next step I'm going to be using the mascara and a lip gloss so for the mascara I use the uh, Maybelline intense black this is my favorite mascara ever it just kind of creates the lash lashes that I um, that I want and the the brush itself really works for me so the brush looks like this so for the mascara um, I apply like this making sure that I'm evening all the lashes for me really important is to separate all the lashes I don't like clumpy lashes So I just keep applying until I'm like satisfied with the length. Of course, don't take too long of the time because the mascara will dry. 
and you won't be able to get what you need looking for. Okay, as you can see, it created a big difference already. Just with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so I'm happy with my mascara, um, with the length and everything. So now I'm gonna be applying um, one of my favorite glosses, it's from Iconic London. Um, it has like um, a plumping, tingling kind of sensation. So it kind of a little bit makes your lips a little bit more plumpier. And as I don't have fake lips and I would love to have a little bit bigger lips, but I'm scared of needles, so I'm not going to do it. I love to use this. So it does give like a natural little plumping effect. I'm gonna show you. So in my day routine, I don't really use any pencils, any eyeshadows really, and just really focus on my skin. I could already start feeling the tingle. Okay, so now I'm happy with my um, lips. That's pretty much my makeup done. But one more step that I use when I go out is um, I use a hydrating mist. The one I'm using is actually from MAC Prep and Prime. Um, so to make sure that it stays in place and gives an extra hydration and this smells absolutely gorgeous it's like really does smell like summer it's the watermelon scent they done these um last year as a as a set and i had to have few um so basically what you do is shake it well and apply all over your face make sure it does dry um, before you touch it, you touch your face or anything, and that's you ready. Um, I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll come back to show you the final look. So this is my final look. <laughs> is this your final look too? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you very soon.